हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर बॉटनी क्लास इन टू डेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू नो द इंफॉर्मेशन अबउट ए स्पॉटर दट ईज फ्यूनेरिया हई ग्रो मेट्रिका सो फस्ट वील गो थ्रू द सिस्टमैटिक पोजिशन और क्लासीफिकेशन और हई आर की आफ दिस फ्यूनेरिया किंगडम इज प्लांटे डिविजन इज ब्रयोफाइटा क्लास ब्रयोपिडा ऑर्डर फ्यूनेरियल जीनस फ्यूनेरिया स्पीशी हईग्रो मेट्रिका सो द सैंटिफि नेम ईज फ्यूनेरिया हईग्रो मेट्रिका सो कमिंग टू द डिस्ट्रिब्यूशन हईग्रो मेट्रिका ईज डिस्ट्रिब्यूटेड अरउंड द वर्ल वर्ल वाइड डिस्ट्रिब्यूशन दैन हाबिट एंड हाबिटाट जनरली फ्यूनेरिया विल बी ग्रोन इन द रीजन वेर एवर रेन ईज Use and dump in marshy places, and wherever the wet conditions are available in that regions, this Fynneria hygrometrica is well grown. So coming to the comments or characteristic features, and especially vegetative identified characters, let me go through. So generally, Fynneria is A thallus. So, what is meant by thallus? Generally, every plant body is made by prominent root system and shoot system. But here, true roots and stem and leaves and remaining parts are absent. That is known as thallus. So, the plant body it does not differentiate into true roots and branches. and whatever it may be the plant parts we can observe in the normal plants especially from the pteridophytes we could observe these all true parts of the plants because this is thallophyte let's see the structure and parts of this thallophyte generally plant body it may grow from the soil level up to 8 cm that's it minimum 3 medium is 5 cm maximum 8 cm that is the height of the plant body and the plant body is differentiated into gametophytic phase up to here and up to here sporophytic phase so up to here is gametophyte from here to here this is known as sporophyte let we see what are the parts involved in the gametophyte and sporophyte phase of this plant basically the funeria plant body is gametophore gametophore or gametophyte gives rise the sporophyte remember everybody so coming to the one by one parts of the gametophyte from the base we will be started so the base of the plant body anchored or supported by special multicellular structures called rhizoids so the main function of the rhizoids or anchorage support and absorption of the nutrients from the soil and water also but the special characteristic feature is these rhizoids they have obligate septa that is a main characteristic feature and multicellular so obligate septa we could observe done followed by rhizoids slender slightly long and erected main axis we could observe so this is main axis this is also known as stem but not true stem so this is just a stem like structure because it is called axis not a true stem so this axis is branched so towards peripheral sides of the axis we could observe green colored elongations and these elongations are the structures are ovoid in shape 
acute at the tip broad at their base and sessile contains chloroplast and chlorophyll and prominent midrib and broad lamina the lamina is also known as here wing so these structures are called leaves so these are not true leaves because the leaves of the funera is also known as phylloids so every phylloid structure is this okay ovoid broad wing prominent midrib acute tip or apex broad base and sessile so what is mean by sessile generally every leaf it has prominent stalk that is called petiole but here the petiole is absent because it is called sessile and the leaf margin is entire entire in the sense just smooth and flat that is known as entire then if we could observe these sharp edges this may be serrate or crenate but here serrate and crenate we are unable to observe just entire prominent midvein is present and one more thing coming to the base of the stem or axis the leaves are matured leaves towards the tip or apex of the axis the leaves are immatured leaves so here immature leaves are arranged in the form of crowd the number of immature leaves than the mature leaves is more so that arrangement is known as head or crown so here the leaf arrangement is known as a phyllotaxy generally so the phyllotaxy is 3 plus 8 arrangement so this phenomena is known as octastikus arrangement so here at the base of the axis possess mature leaves towards the apex immature leaves so this is the information regarding gametophyte then coming to sporophyte the plant is a funaria why it is named as a funaria in the sense in latin word fin represents twisted rope so here the special structure or part which is related to sporophytic phase that is known as seta so this is seta it resembles with twisted rope because this is named as funaria then this seta is made up of special type of tissues especially parenchymatous tissue the longitudinal growth of parenchymatous tissue it push forward this capsule which is reproductive structure then followed by special cap is called calyptra then the calyptra become loose and shed off then the capsule is exposed then the tetrad spores which are formed inside the capsule they will be bursted and distributed whenever they will be find favorable conditions they will be grown and they will gives rise again gametophytic stage again this gametophytic stage gives rise sporophytic again from the sporophytic spores again this life cycle will be continued so here two types of generations we could observe one is gametophyte generation second one is sporophyte generation so this is known as alternation of generations the life cycle of funaria this is also known as heteromorphic alternation of generation why in the sense gametophyte phase is differ from sporophytic phase so dear everybody finally the significance of this funaria is nothing then identification is since the plant body has 8 inches and gametophytic phase sporophytic phase it contains 3 plus 8 phyllotaxy rhizoids and the two obligate septa axis is also known as a stem like structure so phyllites 
ओवेट शे प्रामिनेंट मिड्रिप क्राउन और हेड अरेंजमेंट एट्सेट्रा एंड दिस ऑल कमेंट्स और वेजिटेटिव कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स हेंस वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई दिस प्लांट एस फ्यूनेरिया हाइग्रोमेट्रिका ओके डियर एवरीबॉडी सो इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल मीट विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक गुड लक